All right, what's up, family? We just starting part two, another side. So we're putting our binding down, and then we're gonna do the concrete on this part here. And as we move down, if you once you put the binding down, you put the concrete immediately after. As you know, we did that side already two days ago. Well, three days ago. We wait. Now we're on to this side here. Okay, like you see, this is a perfect example. See how there's a big pocket in there. You can see the water starting to seep out. It's high here, low there. That's why you do this, as my wife said. Just get the air pockets out. Look, that's real water. Man. Get the air pockets out at the same time as low a little bit. That was obvious. That had a lot of water in that spot. Yeah, I know the jokes don't come in. Hey man, let's get some crackers with that soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made it watery, so we got time to play with it. And it's different when you gotta, this is just me and my wife doing it. So we, we ain't got like a four or five man crew. And that's a big slab. So we ain't got a lot of time. So we making time by having a little bit more watery. That's it, on to the next thing. All right, what's up family? We got the plastic here. That part there is not concrete. That's actually all dirt. Now you definitely want to put plastic up under your concrete. Here are all the reasons why. Because as you can see, concrete acts like a sponge and it soaks up moisture from the ground. So to prevent that, you put plastic, then you put your concrete on top of it. So now I'm gonna do a little smoothie thing over here. Obviously I'm doing it more than once. Ah, loosen it up. Hard on the angle, getting this thing. Yeah. See with these pillars, in the way, make it kind of tough. But that's the thing with doing the work. Look at that, these pillars messing me up. Trying to work around the pillars makes it a little bit more complicated. That's good. So now obviously, what you do when you when you got a big slab, you know I'm gonna put like a big strong piece of wood all the way across that way you can walk on the wood not the concrete and you smooth out the middle pieces sometimes you gotta do the board in the middle and, and get the middle parts and more dry look at that guy like this Something that do it. Something. Lift up that muscle, man. Yeah. Look at that. And we definitely got our mask and our, and our shades on. But trust me, when this thing is spinning, it pop you in the eye with the cement. Actually happened to you, right? Oh yeah. Tragic. They say it be dusty, especially when you cut it on. Safety first. There's gonna be dust just coming everywhere. So you definitely want to have a shade and a mask. Yeah, when the dust calms down a little bit, then you start putting on water, right? Yeah. You don't want to put that all in your face. You know, this part here is gonna wind up drying quicker than up there, because that's all shaded. As you can see, the sun is hitting this directly. So I gotta keep watering every now and then because it's getting dry too quick. Get this out of the way. So how long do we have to spin that um make oh, make a spin? So it gives a nice consistency. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. That was it. You okay? Wow. Wow, that's the first. Want me to help? No. That was the first. I made a boo boo. Yeah. See, that was kind of dry. I gotta wet that up a little bit. Hey! Someone said it was a mistake. Hey, it's good. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from my mistakes. Don't make it too heavy. It's actually a two, three, four man job. My wife being lazy, she's supposed to be helping me. <laughs> Please. All right, so now we're gonna give it a nice broom edge. Before I would just, a lot of people might be just having that regular size broom. I would highly advise anybody, get you the broom where this thing extends, see? That way you could do one sweep opposed to half a sweep, quarter of a sweep, quarter, and you gotta keep moving. You just get this extender, it gives you the length you need. That way you can make it one sweep. Even though, I ain't gonna go that far. I'm gonna go up and do it. I think I'm gonna go up and do it, then use the extender. But sometimes it falls into that old saying it's better to have and not need rather than to need and not have. Does it make sense? Finish. Ooh. Trip. See that's kind of wet there. See that means it's digging. It's kind of wet. So I'm gonna wait. Let that dry a little bit more because you can literally see the difference. This is more drier. That's more wet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I went a little too soon. It's no big deal. All right, so it's more wet down that way, but this is getting really dry. So I'm still, instead of doing it all at once, I need to jump on this now. You can literally see the color changing. So you see how it's smooth now? You see that, right? Now you just get a nice broom edge. You don't gotta put no pressure. Just let the broom do the work. Matter of fact, if you come over this way, you'll see the difference as I'm pulling it. See, you'll see, watch. Okay. Go, let me see you do your job. Look at my wife, yeah. Knocking out the edge on the concrete. Yeah, it get a little rough there. Don't, don't worry, just go right over your heart. Okay. And it'll it, it, it square it up. It'll smooth it out, rather. Yeah, good job. There you go. I got a better picture now. Look at that. The line, yeah. right? Now come back, smooth that out. There you go, smooth it, go all the way up. Edge it up though, lean it up. No, no, no. The way you're doing, like lift it up towards that end, so upward, it, so it smooths out. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh -huh. Now, now press it flat. No, flat, 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 flat. Now go back. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. Okay. Look at that. What's up? What's up? What's all right, up? Come on, finish it up. Come on, same thing, come back up. Now go back. There's just a little elbow grease in it, that's all. Mm -hmm. Now come back up like you did before. And go back. Okay, now smooth that big lump out right there, right here. Yeah. Now go back. There you go, you keep making lumps. <laughs> Now it goes smooth, smooth. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Look at that whole edge. You did that whole edge. Got your signature on it. Good job. All right, folks. So we're pretty much done. Got the edge and everything. But sometimes I be want to be a perfectionist. I see little dip parts because I really want that pitch. No water sitting on the concrete. So someone say I'm a little... Ain't with this one. I keep going over it when I see any little imperfections. Like I said, 
said I want, I want to come out here. If it's raining, water run off this. Perfect. You miss a spot right there. <laughs> see now right there, I see a little dip right there. See something like that, drive me crazy. Now to the naked eye, you can't see that. Falling here, <laughs> that's gonna piss me off. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I need my, I need my superpowers, plastic man. Uh. There we go. Ah, damn it. You could do it. <laughs> Side. Bounce it out. Yeah. I seen that little extra wet spot. Look at it. Now it's good. Now, if I wait till that's dry and broom it. How did I get yeah. Oh! My back, my neck, my neck, and my back. <laughs> All right, y'all. But. Give you a nice view. This is a finished product. And uh, like I said, I love my transitions. I always try to make my transition from one concrete to the next smooth. Where it ain't no dip down or a level up. It's smooth right across. Uh, so we're going to wait to this finish. And I'll give you an actual another view with the broom. And then tomorrow when it dry. Or two days. I'm going to wait two days when it dry. And I take the frame apart and show you the finish actual finished product all right folks we are done however it's dark out here but if you look closely you can see we did broom it so right now we're just waiting for it to dry so that'll be tomorrow but i normally wait two days before i pull the frames apart but this is a this is totally done i'll give you the complete dry with the frames missing and all cleaned up all right, what's up, folks? This is 100% the complete job of the concrete. It's broomed, it's dried. We took the frames off, as you can see the edges. All around, remember my wife did the edges right here. This is her nifty work. And another thing I love the bright, well, you see the edges is nice and beveled the way it's supposed to be. We ain't got a, a sharp edge the way I did the dry pour over there. And this is something I love to brag about. I love having a smooth transition from one nice and level. I think that's very important when someone does concrete. It should be a smooth transition from one concrete to the next. It shouldn't be one higher than the other or lower. That's another thing. Uh, so as I said, this is called concrete over concrete. But as you know, when we got towards the end here, we added like an extra two feet. That's strictly under dirt, right? Just that two feet right there. But all of this on both slabs, this is a 14 by 16. Babe, 14 by 16. Babe, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I have a question. A okay. curious question. Sure. Okay? Um, I see you did uh, concrete over concrete. We, one, we did. Well, we did. But I've seen on sh on the DIY and the landscaping and all that, they actually leave, um, cut breaks they crack the concrete mm -hmm. to put a new concrete why do they do that 
Why don't that's actually just, why don't that's actually, just leave the concrete and go right over like we did. And go over it. That's actually a great question. It's a simple answer because they don't want to lose height or whatever. Oh. For example, could you imagine your driveway is a certain height, right? Yeah. And now you want to put new concrete over it. Mm-hmm. But this is your driveway. Okay. And then when you go in your garage, if you make your driveway another three, four inches higher, now when you're driving your drive, you're losing that height. See what I'm saying? So that's why some, that's one of the reasons why. It might be foundational reasons, but one of the most common reasons they break up old concrete, get rid of it, is because sometimes people don't want to lose their height. They don't want to lose the height of their garage, the height of their their back patio. They don't want to lose the height. Because like I said, could you imagine where we at right now? And we did another three or four inches. Our our heads would be close to touching the ceiling. So that's why. That's one of the main reasons why. I always have that question in the back of my mind, like, why do so much work and instead of just dealing with what you mm-hmm. got and then just work over yeah. it? Yeah. Well, so as I said, folks, complete job, complete finish, and we out. Peace.